impressions that night? Well, he looked uh, he looked very good as he has throughout his career. They call him Pretty Boy. He was a pretty boy that night. He picked Garcia apart from the outside. When he brought in the power, it was one punch KO power that Floyd Mayweather has been looking for in his in his career. His opponent tonight, Nunez. Al, this is a, a guy who's been around. He's fought some pretty good fighters. He has, and tonight he says, after coming off that loss to Steve Quinones, he says this will be his last fight. Wow. Win, lose, or draw. He's going to open a gym in Sacramento. He would like to go out on a winning note. That'll be a tall, t tall task against Floyd Mayweather. Well, Mayweather is very quick, and that man, Angelo Nunez, is going to have to be able to get out of the way of those very flashy combinations. As we take a look at both fighters as they get ready, the big thing you see there is that difference in age. Everything else just about even, but Al, 10 years, and that 20 and 30, I think, speaks volumes. And the fact is he has been in some tough wars. Uh, Nunez, as you mentioned, uh, the people who's fought lost to Gabriel Ruelas, lost to Oscar De La Hoya uh, by a knockout, and one of the things to watch for is over the left eye of Nunez, a lot of scar tissues and a lot of cuts there. Rules of the fight. Now, this will be different from the ladies' bout we just saw. There will be no standing eight count, nor a three dock down rule. The fighter can be saved by the bell only in the last round. Of course, we're back to three-minute rounds now. Referee or the doctor can stop the fight. And the way it works here in California, if the, an accidental foul causes the fight to be stopped before the bell sounds the beginning of round four, it would be a technical draw. Once that bell sounds to start round four, we go to the scorecards, tally them up and get away. baby! So there you have the two, and you can see pretty boy Floyd is uh, ready to go. He's got, oh, he's got that smile on the ring. I tell you, there's a kid who loves his work. He loves getting up into the ring. Let's go now to Mark Biroff. Ladies and gentlemen, Top Rank Incorporated in association with Budweiser, this Bud's for you, presents eight rounds in the super featherweight division. Ring officials assigned by the California State Athletic Commission. Your judges at ringside are... Raul Caiz, Marco Rosales, and Larry Rosaria. Your referee for this event from Los Angeles, California, here is Lou Moret. Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my right, coming from Sacramento, California. He is wearing the black trunks, white trim, Weighing in at 133 and a half pounds, his professional record reads 14 victories, 11 defeats, 3 draws, and 4 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Angelo Nunez. Nunez. His opponent in the blue corner, hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada, wearing the black leather trunks, weighing 130 pounds with a professional record reading 11 victories, no defeats, and nine wins coming by way of knockout. He is the 96th U.S. Olympic bronze medal winner, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, eight rounds, super featherweights. Gentlemen, I've given you your instruction in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Keep the punches up. And listen to my commands. Shake hands and await the bell. Good luck. Just by way of sidelight, let me point out that I think that booing might have been as much meant for Roger Mayweather as it was for Floyd, because the fans here, and a largely Mexican-American clientele here at the Olympic Auditorium, remember how Roger Mayweather used to come here to the Olympic and knock off Mexican fighter after Mexican fighter. They used to call him the Mexican assassin in those days. And it may have something, as we look at Nunez, it may have something to do with the fact that Floyd Mayweather, young Floyd, is campaigning vigorously to meet Gennaro Hernandez, should Hernandez be victorious this evening. Already calling himself a champion of the world, Floyd Mayweather. His idols, Floyd Sr., his father, Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali. He describes himself in the ring, Floyd does, as a boxer puncher. He's using elusive head movement as a pro. His best punch is the right hand, naturally right-handed. For Nunez, he says in the ring, I'm a boxer, and uh, 
That's a difficult task against Mayweather. Good left hook by uh, Nunez, though, and that gets a rise out of the crowd. But his best punch, he says, is left jab, and there's a couple of jabs from him. He needs to step in with that jab. Nunez started boxing when his father took him to the gym at 13 years old. His father, Robert Nunez, who was a welterweight back in the 1960s, he went about 15 and 4. And oh, right hand by Mayweather. That one really startled Nunez. Startled him, but he shakes it off. Nunez, a tough kid. Mayweather has equal power in his uh, left and right hand. The hook is a very big punch for him, but as you just saw, the right works too. Well, and he's quick-handed. Very got, fast. Got good punching power too. And Angelo Nunez fought Oscar De La Hoya, who's seated. You might see him in your uh, uh, camera shot at times this evening. He's sitting in that first row, and Oscar fought Nunez way back at the beginning of Oscar's career. He stopped uh, Nunez on a cut in four rounds. And it was really after that bout that Nunez started to slip down into being more of a journeyman opponent type. That cut over the left eye that could open up. Nunez, notice how he carries the left hand a bit low, trying to take the eye now. Floyd Mayweather got into boxing when his father took him to the gym at eight years old. He used to box with the older fighters in the gym when they would get on their knees and fight with him. Disappointed in the uh, U.S. Olympic Games, Al, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, he was the first United States boxer to beat a Cuban in 20 years, but ended up with a bronze medal when Serafim Todorov got a very disputed decision over him, and Floyd vowed that he would uh, get the gold as a pro, and he's well on the way to doing it. There's that left hook by Floyd Mayweather. Like, the thing you like about him is he has a complete arsenal. That was an amateur. He was 84 and 6 in non-paid ranks, Floyd Mayweather was. Step back, step back. He step says, back, I will please. be a world champion in 1998. No, 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 Angelo. No, no, Get no, no. Get off the neck, says Lou Moret. <laughs> Angelo trying to rough him up. He has to rough out Mayweather. He can't fight him from the outside. Mayweather is too good. You have to go in and be aggressive with Mayweather. Nunez has come here to fight tonight. And you got to make Mayweather work. And he's trying to do just that. But Mayweather is so quick-handed, he's hard to deal with. Good exchange as round number one comes to a conclusion. able to get to Nunez early. It was the straight right hand, a lead right hand. That demonstrates the hand speed of Floyd Mayweather. Nunez with that left a little low. Well, you have to show your opponent, especially in that very first round, show him who the boss is. And that's what Mayweather has been outstanding at doing. Put them in their shell in their first round. Promoter Bob Arum is very excited about the potential of this young man, Floyd Mayweather. Sky's the limit, it seems, for Floyd. But he just wants to get past this man here tonight, and that is Angelo Nunez, before he can take those big steps up. Good feint. Look at that foot feint for Mayweather. It shook Nunez out of his boots. Oh, good right hand to the body. Keep him up. Well, a little lower than the body. Angelo Nunez, screen left. Floyd Mayweather with his back to you right now. This is scheduled. We're 10 rounds. Oh. See Mayweather get down and come up with that popping jab. Brings the jab up. Does he do things you think, Sean, that are reckless in the ring? Yes, he does. Every fighter does. But yeah, he, he does even more so because of the showboating, the keeping his hands low, the boxing around, but he, with fast hands and a hard punch, he's been able to back it up. As an amateur, Floyd used a lot more movement. He told us that he wants to use that movement again, but in this fight, a perfect example, he's able to attack Nunez so well that you really, he doesn't want to give them that no, no, much no, no, lateral no, no, movement. Yeah, yeah, Nunez that, cannot that. match his speed. Nunez is a deliberate fighter. Only four KOs in his 14 wins. Both fighters at the same height. And Nunez does not want to 
kind of jab from the outside with somebody like Mayweather. Now, how does he get that right hand lead in like that? Well, look at where where Mayweather is carrying the left hand. He carries that left hand low. Now you ask me about you know the, the, the vulnerabilities at this stage of the game. That left hand down around his waist. And Nunez with a flurry of punches, although Mayweather is really avoiding most of those, but still the crowd here cheers their man on. We have to watch as this fight progresses. Nunez, we mentioned he said this was his last fight. When you start to take a lot of punishment and what you've already pretended is your last fight, how much will you go? And he just took a big left hook from Mayweather. Mayweather now putting those punches together and landing and also going to the body. Saying it's his last fight and oh, on, on, he has on. lost his last three, Nunez has. Mayweather took a long look at Nunez, who now is bleeding. Oh, then step back, step back, step back, step back, step back, don't leave. Nunez with a big smear of blood, blood coming, it appears, from the right eye. And it's interesting because it was the left eye that had been such a problem for him. There's some swelling underneath the left eye. Mayweather has really been working on turning his punches. You're taught in boxing to spin your punches right when they land your opponent so that the glove tears, tears your opponent's face, opening up a Ten cut. Ten seconds. Well, Nunez is making Mayweather fight. Yeah, give him credit. Nunez came into this fight to fight. Fine, fine, fine. Bill sounds into round two. They'll take care of that glove. We'll take a look at some of the drama beginning in the corner of Nunez. Well, that let us go, Doc. Come on. Don't let him go, he's not. Man, do something, eh? You're catching him with right hands. You got to make sure it doesn't open a whole lot more and a lot of blood, okay? I'll okay. watch it closely. Okay. Not too much last okay. This way. Okay. That was referee Lou Barrett leaning in, saying he's going to watch it closely. And he's talking okay. about the cut. Yeah, what a confidence boost that is. Have the referee come over to your corner. I'm going to watch it closely. Now, the round break, you might notice, was a little long there. Here in the state of California, when the doctor comes into the ring, they stop the clock between rounds, so you don't get just a 60-second break. They stop the clock, then when the doctor leaves, they will wind the clock and resume it. And that's so that the ring, the corner man can have a full 60 seconds to work on whatever needs to be worked on the, the cut in this way. Do they have to wind the clock here? Yeah, well, the okay. referee. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. He gives nice them the jab. winding motion. Winding that jab is Floyd Mayweather. He realizes the most important weapon in boxing is jab. He says jab is the key. It's both offense and defense. You can move that, move forward using the jab or move backwards using the jab. Some strange looking feints by Mayweather, which I don't think will work against quality opposition. I don't that know. Bobbing of the hands up and down in front of him. It's very talented. Shifting to the southpaw stance and back to the right back. stance. Step These back. little moves in there are what gives you trouble. You're not sure if it's a move or if it's a, if it's a feint or if it's a punch. It's the first time we've seen Floyd Mayweather switch the lefty during, that I've seen during his professional career. Something maybe he's thinking about incorporating in. To stay with it too long. This is body work and then he comes with the left hook upstairs. Mayweather is a combination puncher. He always throws his punches in combination. That's obviously part of what makes him special as a fighter. Yeah, those explosions that uh, so many fighters miss. And now he's forcing Nunez backwards. Junior lightweight, Floyd Mayweather, is hoping to have a world championship fight in April or May of next year. Oh, good combination. Look how accurate he is with his punches. He came very up with a right missing. Yeah, from very strange angles sometimes, too. Now they're talking about him being able to fight for a world title in his 15th pro fight. It's pretty extraordinary, but others have done it. That hook hurt Nunez. First, they wanted to fight Augie Sanchez in February, uh, who he it was 3-1 and one against as an amateur, and San, he beat Sanchez twice in the box off to back. get to the Olympic punches off the ropes. Yeah, probably learned it from Roger who was an outstanding defensive fighter. 
Watch the top of the head. Getting a cut. And Lou Barrett. So Angelo wiping at the blood to get it out of his eye. And Barrett immediately jumped in. Hoping a world championship belt around his waist. Sometime really soon, in fact, in the next year. You see the people that are not happy. Anxious to fight 10 and 12 rounders. I've been here before. I would take a look at some of the action now near the end of the fight. You can take a look at that cut, Sean. That is a bad one. Yeah, a crimson smear right over the left eye and just landing on that cut. You know, when you have a cut on your, on your opponent, you really zero in on that. You try to hit your opponent on that blood. Red is a shock to the eye. The end of the fight. Now watch him wipe his eye, Sean. Nunez, yeah, when he goes back to the other side of the ring, he wipes his eye. That's when the referee, Luke Moret, says that's enough. Landing again on that cut. Right Lord here. Mayweather is so sharp. There he is. Again, wiping that eye. The blood drips down. You can feel that blood dripping on your cheek. And when it, when it drips down, it tickles your face, so you wipe at it. You do, the referee stops it. All right, let's get the official particulars now from ring announcer Mark Barrow. Mark? Ladies and gentlemen, the time, 2 minutes, 42 seconds of the third round. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Well, not a popular winner. You know, I suspect these boxing fans don't like the showboating and the confidence in him. They want to see it proved. Well, he'll have a chance, especially if he gets to fight this man in the future. That's who he's already talking about fighting, and that's Gennaro Hernandez, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion, who, of course, later on tonight will be defending his crown against Carlos Famous Hernandez. A real backyard brawl here for Los Angeles. These two grew up just down the block from each other, if you can believe that, and uh, have vacationed with each other, had their families over for backyard barbecues, that type of thing. Very interesting. There's Gennaro, consummate professional, getting ready for tonight. And a kid who is turning into a consummate professional is Floyd Mayweather, standing by now with Al Bernstein. All right, thank you, Rich. I'm here with Floyd and his uncle Jeff, and Roger was around here somewhere, but we'll concentrate on you because you got the job done tonight. Really a very complete performance by you. Um, I'd like to say, first of all, I'd like to thank God and I also like to thank um, Nietzsche, my sponsors, and I also like to thank um, Groovy, Groovy, Groovy Styles. And um, <laughs> you got the thank yous down pat already. You guys have been teaching him everything, haven't you? Well, you know, I gotta get everything down and pack off the top. You know, say thank you. You, know, <laughs> you, you guys cut us off, but um, never, I'd never I do that, for But you know, I gotta thank God for you know, let me come out here and do what I've done tonight, and uh, all right. thank all my family back in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, and thank you guys for having me on. All right, well, you've got us in there, too. Let's take a look at the left hand that started the trouble for Nunez. You threw some great left hands here tonight as well as everything else. Take a look at a comment for us. I'm, basically, I'm leaving with the hook. You know, um, Sugar Ray Robinson done it. Yeah. Joe Lewis done it. So why can't do it? That looked like Floyd Patterson against Ingemar Johansson. You wouldn't remember that one. I'm, I'm the only one in the ring old enough to remember that. Well, you know, I watch, I watch a lot of tapes of okay. Floyd Patterson, Muhammad Ali, a lot of those great guys, Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy, yeah. you know, the best guys. But, uh, you know, I want to thank my, my uncle Roger and Jeff for being behind me. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just proud of my performance tonight. Now, you've talked about fighting for a world championship uh, even toward the beginning or middle of next year. Do you still think you're right on, on track for that? I believe I'm ready. My uncles believe I'm ready. But I need to... You know, polish up with a couple more, you know, 10 and 12 rounds. Then I'll be ready for the winner of this, this championship fight tonight. What do you think? Well, that's a good, well, I think you're performing very well, and I think that maybe in the middle of next year you may be there. What about this fight tonight? Uh, Gennaro against Carlos. They're both good fighters. Are you leaning toward one or the other? I'm not leaning toward none of them. Both of them are good fighters, and um, hopefully the best man wins. I don't take enough from both, none of these guys. Uh, hopefully I can fight one of these guys, you know, in, down the future. All right, Jeff Mayweather, when is he going to be ready for a world title match? Uh, well, I think around uh, April, May, as long as you come around and they keep bringing them, you know, these tough guys in which you get some rounds in, um, I think that he'll be ready. He'll be ready for these guys. I mean, skill-wise, he's ready to compete on any level right now, but um, it's just a matter of getting the season in, getting the experience by going in with tough guys. All right, congratulations to your very good win. Let's take, uh, we're going to get Lou Moret over here. Congratulations on your win, Floyd.